welcome to Learning Tech 101. My name is Runique, and today what we are going to chat about is Soho versus Enterprise Networks. So both of these are going to be common networks that you'll see today. So one of the things is you want to know the difference between them so you can understand the type of devices that you may see within them. So Soho networks are small office, home office. So these are going to be, you know, your homes, your small offices, and then enterprises, what you're going to see in much larger organizations. So Soho networks are going to be very few in networking equipment. You're not going to see a whole lot of routers and switches and things like this. You may see one router, a couple switches at the most or something of that. Now, all devices that are going to be part of a Soho are all going to be part of the same local area network. Now, usually Soho networks are a single location. So it's one home, one office, uh, not gonna be multiple offices connected together. And what you're gonna see with Soho networks is they support a small amount of computers. So you're not seeing hundreds of computers all part of a Soho network. You're seeing more of 20, maybe less um, of what you're seeing computer-wise uh, on a Soho network. Now, with your enterprise networks, this is where it's going to be multiple lands. So you're talking multiple locations, you know, so they could be in different buildings. They could be in different cities, states, countries, those type of things. And they're going to support a much larger number of computers. So you may start to see now where you're getting into the hundreds, the thousands of devices that this network is supporting. And you're also going to see when we talk about networking equipment, now we're having multiple routers, multiple switches and other devices now, servers, firewalls, all type of other devices. You're going to see and more common uh, see them as part of enterprise networks rather than Soho networks. So with Soho networks, you got your, your home office. So with this one, you're going to have your, you know, your home router, a couple computers, all your cell phones, tablets, things like that, that are connected into the network Wi-Fi wise. Um, so not a whole lot of equipment in a home office uh, and everything. Now, one of the things to kind of point out about Soho Networks is that there's going to be most people have, you know, their their home router and they're also going to have a modem. Now, that modem is going to be what ends up connecting you to your ISP so you can get Internet service within your house. Your router, what it's doing is actually the job of multiple different devices. So sometimes when you're just learning on, OK, what does a router do? You may hear more of the definition favors more of a router in an enterprise network rather than a router in a home network, because one of the big reasons is that router, is, as I mentioned, is doing the job of multiple devices. So it's doing the routing. It also has those four ports most times in the back of it. So that's performing as a switch. Then it's wireless access point for all your wireless devices to connect in. Has the functions of a firewall in there so you can try and limit traffic and things like that. It's doing NAT and PAT. So it's doing your network address translation or port address translation. And then what you're starting to see more nowadays is they're starting to add the modem responsibilities into the router as well. So instead of now some homes needing a router and a modem, which the modem they would get from their ISP, now they're getting one device from their ISP, which is a modem router and all these other devices combined into one. So necessarily, it, you know, they refer to them as a gateway router, but it's not forming the job of what you're going to hear that standard de uh, just that job of what you're going to hear as that standard definition of what a router is doing now small office this is where you're going to see um multiple network devices so most times one router uh maybe a switch or two and then it's supporting you know a, a few network or a few end devices so uh laptops desktops printers uh maybe voice over ip phones um, and things like that. So you're going to see more devices connected within an office, small office than necessarily you might see in a home. Uh, but still, when it comes to overall, not a whole lot of networking equipment, not a whole lot of devices when we're going to compare it to more of an enterprise network. Now, when we look at an enterprise network, this is where you're going to start to see a lot more equipment um, and how it's designed and configured large changes. 
So in this, like with this, we have uh, your data centers where you're going to see majority of your, your servers are located, your main routers, your firewalls, your IPSs, intrusion prevention systems, your IDSs. Um, and then with your switches, now we got different types of switches besides just a basic switch. We got layer three switches. Um, and then your wireless device, not your wire, your, your router that's handling your wireless devices. Now you actually have a device that is its sole job is to handle your wireless connections and all your wireless access points. And then your, your network may actually be separated into other different networks. Now your overall network is separating into smaller networks. So the first floor may be a network by itself. The second floor may be a network by itself. And then the third floor is a whole nother network. So with enterprise networks, you're seeing a lot more changes in the configuration compared to, you know, the small office or the home office, where it's really generic, really, I don't want to say generic, very basic, uh, nothing where you're getting really technical into it um, on how it's configured and the devices that you'll see in it. Now, when you start getting into enterprise, now you're seeing a lot more and you're going to get introduced to a lot more uh, things on the network that you just may not ever see in a small office or a home network. So hopefully that helps you when you're looking at kind of the, the difference between a small office and a, a, or a Soho network and an enterprise network. And this helps out when you start to learn the different devices, because one of the things you want to think of it as is necessarily not in your home, because it may not be exactly how it's being described as working, because in homes, you know, we all like things, less devices. So combine them into one. And you don't want to have that thought of what that home router is doing compared to what an enterprise is doing. And you're thinking of it that way. So um, hopefully this helps you kind of get an understanding of you know how why they may mention it in certain ways and things like that. So hope you found this helpful and I appreciate you watching.